Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's look because I've been wanting to do a look like this, this really dramatic large wing for so long and I'm so happy that I finally got to do it. I didn't know what shade to use, but I feel like this olive green was perfect for it because olive greens are some of my favorite shades to use for fall. And it's been feeling cold and the leaves are falling and it's the most perfect fall weather. And especially now that we're wearing masks, our eyes are basically the statement of our entire look. So you can't go wrong with this dramatic look. Also, I finally cut my hair. I love it so much. We did just like a nice blunt cut. Below my shoulders, I cut off all of my dead ends, my split ends, and all of the bleach that was left over from when I was blonde. And now this is all my natural hair color. Isn't this crazy? I haven't been my natural hair color in years. I don't even know how long, maybe like six years. So I'm loving it. Let me know what you guys think of my hair down below. I can't wait to like play around with styles and curl it. So if you wanna stick around to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the Ofra Empowered Signature Palette and I'm picking up Grand. Just to add a little bit of dimension through my crease, I'm applying this shadow with my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush, just going back and forth. I'm going into the Ofra Bossy Eyes Liquid Shadow in New Money. Using my EO6 Wing Liner Brush, I'm going to create a line going up towards the tail of my brow. I'm going to apply the liquid shadow right on the bottom part of my crease so that when I open my eyes and have them relaxed, you'll still be able to see the shape of this liner. And then I'm going to connect it up to that wing. And now using the wand, I'm just going to fill in the entire lid space. Okay, so I can't look up at you. I'm sorry, but I'm going to keep looking down and just let the eyeshadow set and dry. And then we're going to go in with another layer. And then now going in with the second layer, this is just going to intensify the entire shadow and make it really nice and opaque and make sure there's no patchiness. The shadow is so beautiful. You can also go in with a brush. This brush is incredible. This is the F70 concealer brush from my brush set with Sigma and just pat over top to make sure there is no patchiness and kind of distribute the shadow evenly everywhere. I'm now picking up Wall Street. I'm gonna just lightly apply this on my inner corner just to add a little bit of brightness. To line my waterline, I'm going to the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero. And because we have such a dramatic graphic liner, I don't want any gaps in between my lashes, so I'm just wiggling this pencil in. I'm now going to apply mascara and false lashes, and I'm going into the Pretty Little Thing X Tati Lashes in Chick Flick. And that's the eye look done. Now for lipstick, I want to do something nice and warm and perfect for fall and nicely complement this eye look. So I'm going to go into this Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in Chai Genius. And that's it. This is a completed look of my dramatic olive green cat eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can honestly recreate this look with any shade. You could even do like the olive green and then fade it into gold or do like black and fade it into silver. So many different color combinations, so many options, and I am obsessed. I can't stop staring at my eyes. I love, love, love this liquid shadow. You guys have to check it out. I love the Ofra Bossy Eyes liquid shadows, and this one has to be my favorite shade because my eyes look so green right now and olive green. Oh, love it. <laughs> so if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, that'll be down in the description box along with the products that I used and my brush set with Sigma that I used to create this look will be linked down below for you guys to shop away easier and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload and I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!